This video will explain how to use a semicolon. Semicolons are often considered the most difficult piece of punctuation to use. And one of the main reasons for this is that they are in many ways an optional piece of punctuation, something that you can put in the place of something else, such as a full stop. However, if you can understand how to use them, they are very powerful, particularly in your creative writing, to join your ideas together and to show a greater control over your sentence structure. There are two reasons to use a semicolon. Firstly, to join together two related ideas that could stand alone as sentences. Secondly, separating large items in a list. Firstly, a semicolon is used to join together two related ideas that could stand alone as sentences. Here is an example. I have a big test tomorrow. I can't go out tonight. Now those two statements could stand alone as separate sentences. They could have a full stop between them. However, they are related ideas. They are saying very similar things. And so it makes sense to put a semicolon between them to show this. Here is an example with no punctuation. It has been raining all night. The garden is soaked. Now a semicolon could be put in here. We could also put a full stop in here. We could put a full stop in here after night. It's two separate sentences. However, if we put a semicolon instead of the full stop, then we show that this is a related idea. So how do I then choose between using a comma, a full stop, and a semicolon? Well, here are a few things that I can be asking myself when I'm looking at the words in front of me. Are there two separate clauses that would stand as separate sentences? Are they saying similar things? Would it work to put a full stop between them? Let's try putting those questions to the test. Here is a sentence. I tentatively opened the door, fear flooded through my body. So I have two separate ideas there, two distinct actions that are taking place. I could have a full stop between them because I have two separate clauses, but because they're saying similar things, it makes sense to put a semicolon between them. The second reason for using a semicolon is to separate large items in a list. So here in this sentence, my favorite activities on holiday are going swimming in the pool, climbing up the rope ladder, spending time with friends, relaxing on the beach. Each item in my list is a phrase rather than just a single word. And so I can separate these large items by adding semicolons after pool, ladder and friends. To recap, the two reasons to use a semicolon. To join together two idea, related ideas that could stand alone as sentences. Separating large items in a list.